Good afternoon, sixth graders. Today you're going to be creating a concept drawing for an assignment called Mummy. Now, we're going to base the features of your mummy's face on real human features. Your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your ears. These are the major features of your face. And not only are we going to try to draw them in a somewhat correct way, but we're also later in your final going to try to shade them correctly. Forget about naturalistic color. You'll have fun with your colors later on, okay? Now for the concept, we'll start with a sheet of paper like this. But this is the back of the paper showing you a line for the middle of the eyes, a line where the base of the nose probably should be located, and a line for the middle of the mouth. You see the ears on either side and the neck, neck below. Here is the completed concept with the placement of eyes, nose, and mouth, very similar to what I have here on the back, okay? So that would be a completed mummy. Notice I've had fun with the features. I've added some extraordinarily unusual things like here his brain is busted open. Here's a nail through his cheek. Here's a worm crawling out of his nose. Here are some leaky blood vessels over here. And you can tell I've added one, two, three, four linen wrappings. Linen is a kind of, is a kind of fabric the Egyptian priests would use when they mummified an individual. Here's another concept drawing where I used a little bit of gray marker to show the shadow that falls beneath things. And you might wish to do that too. Now let's get started. I'm gonna take a piece of concept paper like this. This is the back. I might actually have to have two sheets so that when I turn it over, I can more easily see the middle of the eyes, the base of the nose, and the middle of the mouth. And I'll go ahead and start drawing. The first thing I might do is just outline the face. And in outlining, I might begin to add details, like I'm gonna put an earring in that ear. I might rip a portion of his cheek away. I might give him a chin, a butt chin there. Don't forget about the neck. And while I'm on this side of the paper, I might go ahead and show a little extra side to that cheek where it was torn away. A little bit like Cloud City Billings. Remember the arrow and the lines coming off the arrow? Looks a little bit like that. Let's finish the rest of the design over here. Let's bust another hole in his head there. There's another ear. Here's another cheek. Again, add some additional edges so it looks more 3D. You do not have to shade, but even in a concept drawing, shading is sometimes important. Now eyeballs are round, and yours don't have to be the same size. You notice how I'm practicing my basic mark, a circle? I draw lightly at first. The base of your nose will go here, and the middle of your mouth here. It's already starting to look like a real human face, even though they have only basic, basic lines and shapes there. Remember your eyeballs are covered with an upper lid and a lower lid. And the lid wraps along the eyeball and curves as it does. If you look carefully in a mirror, you'll see there's a white portion to your eye. There's a colored portion to your eye. And inside that colored portion is a pupil a large black hole through which light travels. If you have a tear film on your eye, which all of us do, you may even see a white reflection on the eye right there. The eyeball can still be seen beneath the lids. So I went ahead and drew it as an eyeball. I'm gonna add some lashes and move over here to the other eye. Have fun, you don't have to do the same shape. In this case, I'm gonna change the shape and make it look as though the eye is swollen and almost closed with just a little slit for the eye to peer from. The base of the nose, I might do one nostril or two. The nostril's the hole through which you breathe. I can go ahead and put the bridge of his nose there maybe another portion of nostril there, you can barely see it, maybe a portion of the opening there. 
And because the bridge of the nose goes into the brow ridge above your eye, and on your brow ridge you have eyebrows, I'll put those in as well. Now, the middle of the mouth, the mouth could stay closed if you want, but that's no fun. Let me open the mouth. Let's give him kind of a snarl. Changing things around. Did you know that bottom lips are usually thicker than top lips? And here I'll just indicate some teeth and maybe a little bit of spittle or something oozing from his lips. Now I have all my major features. This line here will show me a portion of the outer ear. I need to go ahead and do my bandages. Remember that if a bandage or a linen wrapping crosses something else and hides it, you have to erase the thing that's hidden. I like using curving lines because it conforms to the curve of your face. If you notice right here, this wrapping covers that portion of the mouth. So I have to remove the thing that's hidden from view. I have to remove that portion of the mouth. I can still have a little spittle coming down on the bandage. There's nothing wrong with that. It can be on top. That's two of my four bandages. Let's see if I can squeeze in two more. I'm gonna put one right here beneath this one. That's a third, it's shorter, it has a curve. And I'm gonna twist one. I'll show you what I mean by twist. Let me slip it in behind this, and here it goes with a twist. You see where it twists like a ribbon right there? So as it twists, if I wish to indicate that there is a change in light because there's a change in direction, I'll do that. So I have my four bandages. I can put other things in there. I can put bugs and worms. I can stick something in his head or make something poking out of his head. See that oval? That's the inside of a blood vessel, and it's pretty leaky. What if I did some sutures? Sutures or stitches are what you get when you go to the emergency room after cutting yourself badly. I've done a few of those before. I mean, I've gotten a few stitches before, okay? So have some fun with your concept drawing. Remember, major features, eyes, nose, and mouth. Let's look for those real details that we find on ourselves when we stare in the mirror. Details like eyelashes, eyebrows, the white, the colored, and the dark portion of the eye. Maybe he's got a little denture problem, or I'm sorry, dental problem, so I'll give him some cavities. Maybe there's a little bit of stitching going on down here. Don't ask me why, but have some fun. Now, you try.